Hello everyone, welcome back to the Way Church channel. Today is our third and final instalment of our Dropper Rig series. Today I'm going to show you how to tie the Lazy Man's Dropper Rig. This is my preferred Dropper Rig because one, it's a lot easier to tie with freezing cold fingers in the middle of March and April, and two, it's lazy. And anything we can do to speed up time fishing is better than time spent tan rigs. Let's jump in there and have a look. Okay, starting off, I need a few swivels. Size 14, size 12, anything between them two will do fine. I'll be trying to make this as inconspicuous as we can, so smaller swivels play their part there. Depending on what main line lure you're going to use, if it's a fixed lure, you want to add a small snap swivel with that too. Not forgetting her for a carbon either. Let's have a look how we get tied this up. This rig doesn't really require too much fluorocarbon later, so start off under a braid at main line. Take your swivel. And just tie that direct. Under main line. Have that tied off. Now the next step is to take approximately 60 to 70 centimeters of fluorocarbon and attach your fluorocarbon to a small size 12 swivel. There we go, that's that tied off. Nothing fancy. Put blood knots, patches it. Now for the next step, choose your fly accordingly, whatever one you want, and attach this. It doesn't have to be a very long dropper, because we're going to attach this off as well. All we need really is something around 20, 25 centimeters attached to a lip knot. Now what we do, and this is important at this stage, is Connect our dropper to the top end of the swivel. It's attached to the braid at main line. Can be a wee bit tricky. Just hold it off to the side like this. Put it off your main line. That will give you room enough to tie the dropper on. Now we'll have that tied off. You can see how our dropper just sits off. Over swivel, and that will just hang our lovely. Never had too much tangle ups with a dropper lipping back behind or anything. The swivel seems to prevent that happening, and you can see the arc that the fluorocarbon is coming off for. That's ideal. That will hang our dropper fly off from the main line. That will make it look a much more better and realistic target for a seed trout. Next stop, select whether you want a, fish, a fixed lure or a line through lure. If you're fixing a fixed lure, all you need to do down to the end your fluorocarbon lead arc, tie off a link, and just put your favourite fixed lure. And that's her. There we go. As you can see, it's your dropper. We're flying. What I like about this is you'll find, especially if you're fixing a fixed lure, like a 360, is a real great rotation. As I'll spin around, as you can see, our, our swivel will spin. But only spin at the bottom end so it will. This will stay fixed, but a vibration will come up through the leader and on the end of her fly. And I think that wee bit of vibration can sometimes trigger off a take. 
been a hard day. Anyway, the lazy man's fixed chopper. Give it a go for yourself. It's a great method for catching sea trout at any time of the year. If you're liking this content, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, maybe think about doing that. And I'll see you soon in the next video.